What up, everybody? It's your boy Magnus, back with another custom 1.6 review. If you don't know already, it's on Rain Man's newest piece for 2019. Even though the paper says 2018, we're gonna count this as a 2019 release. It is the Jigsaw Killer, John Kramer, with his little partner, Billy the Puppet. Of course, John's crip, uh, Kramer's pig mask for when he does his uh, capturing, his kidnappings to set people up in the traps. And uh, Dr. Gordon sold off foot. Uh, if you don't know already, like I said, this is a Rain Man piece. I feel really good. It's been a long fucking time doing a review. Uh, you know how it is with me, guys. I wish I could say, um, you know, I would just constantly do these things as a, you'd like them to come out, but I gotta feel them, man. And if I don't feel it, I just don't get into it. It's not like I don't collect. I'm still collecting, and uh, no disrespect to Rain Man, as I've still picked up pieces of his. For a long time, I just haven't sat down and reviewed them. I looked at my last Rain Man review, it was probably like four or five years ago, and I reviewed Wonka, which was nuts. But uh, enough of that. I'm here, I'm back, I'm feeling good. This piece has got me uh, stoked. So I'm gonna give you guys the full Monty on this. We're gonna get into the overview, all the artists involved, the uh, poses. We're gonna get into everything in detail. I'll show you all the accessories give you a little bit of storyline in between if you feel like listening to me. And I'm um, glad to be back, man. So uh, sit back, crack a brew, whatever you do, and get ready to dig into another Magnus review. One six fly, baby. Let's do it. All right, guys, so now that you've seen the full piece, let's get into the overview. And uh, before I get into the whole uh, fly zone with all the pieces, I have to uh, give a major compliment to Rain Man. Uh, this piece has uh, some it's got some good qualities to it, and uh, it's a step in the di right, right direction for uh, collectors that are really looking for uh, something to hold on to, and not something that's going to be uh, re reproduced. As as far as a reproduction as this figure would go, we're looking at a, a traitor in our in our midst. So I like that Rain Man has gone back to this format. We don't have to go with the crazy timer in order like a madman, but. Uh, we're back to an exclusive limited amount of figures, no head sculpts and clothing sets going out separately. This is the real deal, a limited edition figure made by an artist, multiple artists, and done the way that it should be presented the right way. I feel like I just had to mention that before I get into everything because I truly appreciate uh, what Raymond's done with this release. So, like I said, I just wanted to show this. I know I'm off the diorama, but uh, Raymond included this photo, which is cool. I just have it on top. But uh, you got a really quality box this time. Rain Man was known for having the black box with the little rope around the circle that locked it in. But this is like a, a nice wooden box. Really, really nice. Uh, you know, hinged out. Something along the lines of what uh, Robbie Jones would give us. And it uh, has a really nice metal latch. So you can see you open that up. And you'd uh, turn it like this. Open up inside. You'd find all the documentation here. John Kramer here, the accessories, the pig head, and uh, Billy was in a separate cardboard box. But uh, I really thought it was, uh, you know, worth mentioning because it's a step up in collectors, uh, collecting with uh, box box work. And not that there's a, a saw logo on it, something that I figure Robbie would have went that extra mile on, but uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. And uh, it's a nice way to house your figure when you have to move it around and Thank you, Rain Man, for uh, going the extra mile and giving us a real quality box. So next up, as you can see, we have all these beautiful things in front of us. And I'll start with the uh, COA, as you can see here. We got uh, number 14 of 15. As I say we, because um, in this set, I did not purchase this on my own. Unfortunately, when this figure came out, I wanted Billy really bad and I was gonna pass because I couldn't swing getting Kramer and Billy at the same time financially at the moment. It wasn't in the cards for me. And uh, I bumped into a great friend of my uh, group, 1-6 Fly. Uh, Chris, what's up, brother? And we split the sets. He uh, really wanted a Kramer more than anything and I really wanted the Billy. So if you know how fate works, it put us together and uh, we both got what we needed from this package. Now I'm here to review the whole figure because uh, Chris was kind enough to let me hold on to it and take a good look at it. So I'm very uh, appreciative of that. And I hope that you guys are as well because now you get to 
see everything in full detail. I am missing the full metal, uh, you know, hidden knife that goes on Kramer's arm. Chris does have it in hand, but it was actually sent to him directly and not in the package. So uh, we're going to have to go back on that. As you can see, the pig head just took a dive because of the blue tack that it's connected to. At least it didn't hit the ground. I'm going to make a cut right here and we'll get back. Sorry about that, guys. So like I said, we had a cut because the pig head took a little dive. We're back now. And uh, so, yeah, thank you again, Chris, for uh, splitting this set with me and letting me have my Billy to add to the uh, fly collection. And uh, as I took this figure out in hand, I'm definitely regretting not getting Jigsaw. So anybody that does have this Jigsaw, you know that you got something to hold on to. It's not something that's going to be easily replicated. And it's very well done from the clothing to the uh, head sculpt to the body that it's on. It's very solid, not a real cheapy. Even if it's a cheapy, they got a good one. It feels fantastic in hand. And I'm just all over the place. Let's get into these accessories. So... Uh, Again, we got number 14 of 15. You got the uh, tricycle done by Robbie the Painter, Robbie Jones, always coming through on the save for Rain Man, always accentuating everything that he does. And this is the uh, third bike I own by Robbie now. I own the uh, Shining uh, Danny Tricycle and the Crew Jones BMX uh, Mongoose Californian, which I'll be doing in an upcoming review. Just bear with me on that review. It's very emotional, so... Uh, when I get to it again, I'll come back and hopefully blow you guys away. As you can see here, there's a little art book that Rainman included. This is a new thing that uh, custom uh, artists are doing, starting like Rainman did it, uh, Johnny Chung Kingman. Shout out to you, brother. And it'll show you all the things. Like there's the, uh, the missing knife piece that uh, Chris has at home. So I'm sorry I can't show that to you in hand, but uh, I'm glad that he's got it for his set. Uh, there's the background from when Dr. Uh, Gordon cut off his foot. And basically, it's just different pictures of the figure done very well. Uh, I love it. And this is a, a gift to all those people that got the figure, the full set, or I guess the DX. These are just white slips of paper that uh, keep the pages in between. And then, of course, you have the uh, alternate head sculpt with real hair, the pig. It's got the uh, things keeping the mouth closed. I don't know what the hell you even call that. <laughs> rings, I guess rings. And of course, you got the uh, hacksaw made by Full Metal, painted by Rain Man. Real metal teeth on it. Uh, I'll get into more detail of that when you get to see it up close. And then you have the sculpted lock and foot from Dr. Gordon, done by Rain Man. And boy, can Rain Man sculpt a damn human foot, man. This thing looks incredible, man. It looks like my damn toes. <laughs> Alright, that's it for accessory wise, and lastly of course you have the man of the set, John Kramer, the Jigsaw Killer. Beautifully done, such a solid piece, I can't wait to get up close and put him on the stand so I can show you all the goodness. You can see that little hint of uh, the eyes right there, I don't want to show you too much till we get up close, but how cool is that shit? On the fucking money. Definitely a badass piece and maybe something I might hunt down in the future to accentuate my Billy Puppet. We'll see how the fucking game unfolds as far as that's concerned. Alright, let's get into uh, the Jigsaw Killer and then we'll get into all the accessories up close and personal. And then we'll get into some poses. Let's do it guys. One. Alright, here we are. The overview of Kramer. I'm gonna get into full detail right here. Pull off that hood. So, uh, shoes are sculpted by Rain Man. Pretty standard fare, black shoes, nothing crazy. The outfit this time is not a Yunsel outfit, so uh, that's something new in the Rain Man world. Rain Man has uh, branched out to, two, to, to new tailors. And uh, nothing wrong with that. I'm always open to seeing more tailors out there. And whoever he used for this, I'm not uh, custom with their name, so I'm not sure who it is. But they did a really great job. I'll point out something that they missed a bit, uh, if anything, and it's something that could be remedied with uh, custom work, nothing too serious. And it's basically just dirty in the outfit more than anything. So if you want to act like this is Kramer when he first, you know, stepped out and this was his first run as Jigsaw before he dirtied up his uh, robe, like in Saw 1, then you have a clean Kramer. 
you could always, you know, go back and muddy it up. I'll, I'll explain where I see in the uh, details in the film. But uh, like I said, I'm getting crazy. Insane jacket. Got the uh, black shiny material. I don't know how well it's coming out in this uh, video. And you can see here the felt, the red felt. Very nicely done. Uh, the little part that sticks out here is just because that's where the end of the zipper goes. If you've seen before, I try to close it as best I can, but it uh, leaves just a little indentation there. And then you just keep going straight up, and you got the uh, full zipper. I don't know if it comes off completely. Usually, Yunsul has her zippers glued, and you have to pull the jacket up over the body of the figure itself. Uh, either way is fine by me, whichever works best. But uh, this is not a figure where you're going to be unzipping the robe anytime soon. And if anything, you're just going to be changing the... Uh, the head if anything to put the pig mask on so uh rain man also sculpted the gloves again just standard black gloves guys nothing special um let me pull the sleeve up so you can see that sorry about that black leather gloves uh fine work nothing nothing crazy damn the camera's drowning out some of the shit the light all right and then let's uh go up to the hood the hood is not wired as you would think it would be. I thought it would be as well, but um, it hangs very well. It doesn't really need to be wired. The way that uh, the hood hangs in the movie anyway is a very lazy, kind of like droopy way. So this works very well to hide the image of John Kramer. And uh, let's uh, pull this hood off and see what he looks like underneath. Wow. Insane work. Insane. Rain Man. One of your best sculpts, my friend. One of your fucking best scopes. Let me zoom in on that, guys, so you can see that up close. A lot of people are uh, touch and go with Rain Man as far as likeness is concerned. Uh, sometimes he hits it on, you know, on the money, like uh, Plainview, or uh, as I could say, uh, Bill the Butcher. I'm sorry, not Plainview. Bill the Butcher. That's like his best to this day. Still considered his best work. At one point, I consider his Anton his best work, but it's been outdone by now. Uh, the thing with Rain Man, is, Rain Man is that some of his works shows up as uh, looking stylized in the way that he sculpts, which is nothing wrong with that because every artist has their own stamp and that works. And then sometimes he just goes all out and captures the likeness 100% to reality, whereas you can see here, this is Tobin Bell. Uh, this doesn't seem stylized to me at all. It really looks on the money. Fucking fantastic, fantastic work by Rain Man. And this is a sculpt. As you know, Rain Man has been doing some 3D work. But I'm happy to say that this is a hand sculpted uh, head sculpt done in resin. And uh, presented to us and painted to perfection by Rain Man. And this is a piece that will never see anyone else paint unless you want to send your Rain Man piece to get repainted. Since there are no head sculpts going out to nobody... So you have your unique figure and uh, it won't be replicated like the Dracula series and other things that uh, Red Man Toys is doing. Fuck Red Man Toys and their bullshit. I know you guys say that you can't afford it. That's fine. But uh, it's just not a cool process and practice for what we are about in this hobby. So uh, that's my opinion on that. My two cents. Um, let me uh, turn this figure around so you can see more of the head sculpt very well done and I do like that it's the bald head sculpt as you can see I got a little red fuzz from the uh, the hood <laughs> it's nothing that's damaging the paint job per se uh, focus 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 all right there we go and uh the thing I like about this is that if you want to make a saw 2 version of jigsaw which is really when jigsaw finally hit the camera uh, you just have to have somebody hear this they could sculpt it or just throw some white hair and get that uh, cool Jigsaw 2 looking look, which I dig as well. I think Saw 2 is definitely a great sequel. 3 was uh, all right, you know, then we're getting into the uh, bullshit of all the rest, trying to fill in all these plot holes and gaps. And I guess I'll talk about that after I, you know, review the rest of this piece, because it gets pretty messy. As you can see, Billy's in the background chilling off his bike, mouth open. The mouth does open on that, which I'll get into detail uh, in the next little clip. So uh, let's get into uh, John's other head sculpt, and then we'll get into the accessories, which is Billy and the rest. Uh, next cut coming up, guys. All 
All right, I'm gonna give you the back view of the coat because I didn't do that in the last part. So as you can see, it's got the split up the black, the back. Um, and then we'll go on to the uh, pig mask, which is now applied. You can see a little bit of the hair sticking out. And I will uh, turn that baby around so you can see it. Hey, Billy moved, what the hell? Rock on, Billy, rock on. So yes, we are now up to the uh, pig sculpt, the killer mask for Jigsaw. What he uses when he's uh, moving around and doesn't want to be seen. Freaky ass thing, very scary looking in the original movie when it just popped out, I think it was in the parking lot. And uh, if you go and check all the flashbacks now, I don't even think that was Jigsaw at the time, but uh, it was Amanda, spoiler alert, <laughs> too late. You guys didn't see the movies by now then. Bully on you, I don't know what to say. All right, let's drop this hood so we can see the beautiful pig sculpt attached to the body. Of course, real hair, so it's all uh, all over the place. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to work with this and hold the viewfinder at the same time. As you can see, real hair applied. I'll uh, get this up close. You can see the blood tear. Let me uh, focus, there we go. And you can see the rings holding the pig mask tight together. Excellent, excellent paintwork, hollowed out eyes. I guess that's where Kramer would be looking through. Snout, wet and nasty. Let me just uh, zoom in on that. Brilliant paintwork by Rain Man. He's already uh, very versed in painting uh, pigs as he uh, painted a pig head for The Butcher Volume 2. And the music is just getting loud on me, so I'm going to have to speak up a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm playing the source soundtrack in the background. A lot of dark, ominous tones. If you know what I'm talking about, dark, ominous tones. <laughs> and uh, that's the beautiful uh, pig scope. So let me turn it around so you can say that I got everything. Um, not much to see because the hair is applied. The ears. Uh, sorry if the light's drowning it out. Yeah, yeah so it's just a rotted pig head and probably stinks to shit, but thank God it's just a toy or a collectible piece of art, whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, pig sculpt applied on the body. I'll start getting into poses now. Um, no, actually, let's get into the accessories. I seen Billy in the background and he's calling out to me saying, you forgot me, fucker. So uh, we're going to start with Billy and then get into the other little accessories and then we'll get into a couple poses. I don't know how many poses I could do with this guy, uh, but I'll try my best. And I'm glad to be doing this review. It's definitely got me sparked up. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am while I'm filming it. Let's get into Billy, baby. I want to play a game. All right, here we are to the gym of the set, in my opinion. Might be different for others. But Billy the Puppet, man. Billy the fucking Puppet. Uh, the main reason most love saw is uh, this little badass right here. Call him uh, the Grim Reaper, the, the messenger of death. The guy that's going to give you your decision. And when you see him, you're going to freak the fuck out and say, what the hell is going on here? And you're not going to have much time to decide how you want to live. If you're going to make that sacrifice to continue living or die right on the spot as Jigsaw is judging you now for the, fa the failures that you've done in life. And I guess that's the best way to put it. All your, your uh, mistakes and whatever. He uses this little guy as the messenger. And as you can see here, Rain Man killed it. It's the most perfect, accurate, one-sixth uh, Billy out there right now. And of course, with the assistance of uh, Robbie Jones, Robbie the Painter, coming through on the beautiful, beautiful tricycle, which is Billy's trademark vehicle when he pulls into any room to deliver the bad news to the victims. Uh, as you can see, I'm gonna try to just zoom in on everything and give you the full painting detail and then show you about the body because this is on a ball jointed doll. So uh, that's Rain Man style. If you know, that's where he first originated from before one six scale. He was a ball jointed doll maker, making a lot of cool elf dolls and stuff. And he's incorporated the ball joint technique on Reagan, the exorcist figure and such. So uh, we're nothing new if you're um, in the Rain Man rodeo as far as that's concerned. 
So if you look here, this is perfectly sculpted, beautifully painted. The only thing I can say if I have any fucking complaints about it all is just a little too clean. But like I said, this could be Billy right when Jigsaw first made him and, you know, it was just the first one out the door before it, it even uh, got into any soot or dirt or grit. Because, uh, like, if you look at the movie, the doll's pretty dirty. But uh, I, I appreciate it. I like the clean look. It looks really dope. And the mouth does open. I'll show you when I pick the doll up. So as you can see here, he has the red bow tie and full uh, black suit. Uh, done by Rain Man's new tailor, of course. Expertly done. Uh, you can't really fuck this up, man. It's, it's just right on the money fit to the doll. And those red Mary Janes painted to perfection. And the camera is definitely drowning out that light as far as that's concerned. But I'll, I'll pick them up and show you about that. Uh, before I pick up Billy, let's get to the tricycle. Like I said, shout out to Robbie, uh, the painter, Robbie Jones, who always comes through in the clutch for a lot of custom artist projects, uh, making the best uh, accessories that uh, money can buy and hands can make. This guy is a fucking genius. I'm telling you, hands on, I own a lot of his work and it's second to none. The guy is a king and uh, a master craftsman that doesn't quit until he gets the job done correctly. And as if I remember, this bike is made out of brass. It was actually gold colored before it was sent off to Rain Man to get the paint job. As you can see here, we got the little bell, uh, the black handles, the little, uh, I guess that would be a, a speaker or a light. I mean, um, I don't know what the fuck that is in the front of that. Just a little symbol or whatever. And then you got the wheels. Like I said, everything moves. So you can wheel this guy down the way. Totally, totally functional. And uh, the cool shit about this is uh, the pedals. The pedals are magnetized, so you can just go right there, just stick them back in, take them off, right back onto the little bar, and they stick on. Which is uh, really good because when you're trying to put Billy on the bike, he has these holes on the bottom of his feet, and if you just try to put him on the bike like this and then try to apply the feet into the holes, it's a pain in the ass. So I guess that was a design choice to make these come off. You'll just put it right into the hole and then slide the pedal right back onto the bike. And bingo, you have your uh, Billy on a bike, which I'll cut the camera and we'll get to in a second. But real quick, I just wanted to address the ball joint doll. So you can see here, puppet legs, uh, everything's held together with string. Um, the arms are posable, They're, they bend, so you can definitely get them in some poses as you've seen in the camera. And then, like I said, this is hard to do with one hand, guys. The mouth does open. Rain Man had told me it did, and when I first got it home and I tried it, I couldn't get it, and I wasn't gonna try to break it, so I reached out to the guy again, and he told me, you know, maybe you don't wanna do it, but it definitely does open a bit, so I couldn't take that and not do it. So I tried again, and with a little pressure, it popped open about that much, and that's all we really need. I want to play a game. Very fucking cool, and a very cool companion piece to uh, John Kramer's Jigsaw. You have to have this if you have both, and I'm sorry, Chris, for talking that shit, but maybe one day you'll get your Billy again, or uh, maybe one day I'll get my Kramer. Who knows what happens, man? You know how this game goes. Everything changes up on the daily. So let me make a quick cut right here, guys. And I'll throw Billy on his tricycle. And that'll start the posing, I guess. But of course, like an ass, I forgot about the accessories. So we'll come back to that. Let's get to the accessories. And then we'll get to the posing, which will start with Billy on the trike. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. What a mess. <laughs> All right, on to the accessories. Of course, like I told you, I'm missing the, the biggest one, which is the... Uh, the hidden dagger that attaches to John's arm made by Full Metal. Uh, Chris does have it, like I said. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be in this review. So you might have to seek out a different review or just look at Rayman's photos or on Photos Online, Full Metal Customs Instagram, and you'll get a better look at that uh, that dagger. It's a damn shame I don't have it in front of me, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not gonna cry about it. Um, so we do have the other accessories, which of course still is the Full Metal Hacksaw which is used to cut off Dr. Gordon's foot, which is also included, and the shackles that were housed on uh, Dr. Gordon's foot. So let's get into detail on each one. 
As you can see here, we have a perfectly sculpted foot by Rain Man. Lots of detail, bone, knuckle, you know, joints, just insane. Look at the bottom, really, really fucking cool. Um, painted bloody, torn bone, beautiful, beautiful work, and a nice accessory that definitely complements the set. Next up, we have the uh, shackle and the locks, uh, bloodied up as well. Um, if I have any issues with this, it's this piece. Um, the chains I felt could be a little more weathered. They definitely look a little too clean compared to the uh, shackle and locks. And if anything on this, um, not one to really ever complain and nitpick, but the blood on these locks, it looks like it didn't set well as far as like the blood on the uh, pig mask or on the foot. It looks kind of like a cheesy, like, like red paint, not blood. Um, definitely could use a touch up with a better paint job. And if any other problem I have, like I said, th this is the worst part of the accessory set because we don't have a keyhole for the locks. So they just look like locks that don't open. I think that was a little detail that was missed. And um, so these, these locks don't open at all. They're glued closed. And like I said, the paint, the shackle itself is beautiful. It's weathered, it's bloody, it does the part. The chains, the, the placement, everything does the part, as you can see here. I'll wrap it around the foot and you can get a better look at that. So that works, it definitely works, but I'm just being nitpicky and saying that the uh, chains look a little too clean and the blood on the locks doesn't match the blood on the body. It didn't set well. Maybe it needs like a clear coat or a darker red. So uh, something that, that's not too crazy but can be touched up and improved upon if you so desire. I just felt I should mention it. And now on to the, uh, damn this is a mess, <laughs> on to the hacksaw. Beautifully done by Full Metal and painted by Rain Man. This has real teeth, guys. I mean, it's rough as shit. You try to cut your own leg off with this, you'll be there forever. But uh, you can definitely bust some skin. You can definitely bust some skin. Old school hacksaw. Definitely the first saw I ever used in my life. I remember my uh, grandfather used to keep a tool bag on top of the refrigerator when we were kids. And I needed to cut something up. Maybe a G.I. Joe or some shit I was doing. And this saw was the first one sticking out the bag and the blade was thin enough so I used it. It's just a useless memory I'm giving on you guys, but a cool little tidbit into Mag's life outside of this toy shit. So yeah, that's the accessories. Uh, not missing anything, like I said, except for the uh, full metal dagger. And now we can get into some posing and then into the uh, outro, the final uh, overlook of the whole set. Um, let's do it, guys. I'm, you know, ready to go. Let's go. All right, guys, let me see if I could cut the lights out a bit. Maybe you could see these Mary Janes a little better. See how they just they shine and glow, man? They really, really look a lot better in person than they do in the camera. It's really drowning them out. But uh, that's all I can do. I don't know what to tell you. So we're going to have to deal with that. And I guess you can see them better in photos when I take them, and you can really get the details. But uh, stunning paintwork by Rain Man. And as you see on the tricycle, uh, a lot of weathering done, it's grimy, dirty looking, little smears. That's why I said, so you got this dirty bike, which is definitely done the right way, and then your billy looks clean. So I don't know, did Jigsaw find this tricycle in the trash and then he built Billy? We could definitely go with that storyline. Not a big fucking deal, just address it. So yeah, this Billy just in a regular pose, um, mouth open, he wants to play a game, his daddy wants to see you dead, and uh, what a face man, what a memorable fucking character, and uh, as you can see, just done to perfection guys, it's hard to do this shit with one hand. So there he is on the bike, I'll uh, try to get him to roll across, so you can see the legs the only thing is now his butt pops off the seat sometimes, but as you can see, the legs are following the best they can. So you can get a little bit of movement. It looks pretty cool. But uh, you don't want to bend too far because you don't want to rip the 
threading on the ball, ball jointed doll. But definitely works, definitely works. So, there we are for Billy. Um, that's pretty much how you're gonna get him posed. There's not much you can do other than having him just situated in other places, which I'll show you in the next shot. But Billy on the trike, there he is. His ass is a little off the seat. Soak it in, baby, soak that bitch in. Just spending a little time with this guy because he's so dope. Next pose coming up. All right, now we got Jigsaw. Like I said, there's not many poses I could do for this guy. He's really kind of limited in that way, especially without the uh, arm dagger. So this is how he is in the movie when he's wearing the pig mask and he's coming up, ducked you, arms outstretched. They filmed it in a real quick, like, he's coming to grab you fast, very fast forwarded kind of scene. You see the pig come out, snatch up Dr. Gordon real quick. So uh, not much to it, just a guy standing in a pig mask, but it looks fucking awesome, movie accurate, and freaky as fuck with that long hair, man. I'm telling you, I slept on the jigsaw figure, but I, you know, at the time it wasn't meant to be, but I'm definitely enjoying it right now. I think it's fucking superb. On to the next pose. All right, here we go. Another cool pose. Something I would display in the cabinet for sure. To get the most out of the accessories. to see here but it's jigsaw looking down at the pig mask i don't know why it looks like he's looking forward to a viewfinder but uh yeah it's john getting that pig mask ready for application on his head and he's about to go do his uh thing he's about to go snatch up a victim and judge them so as you can see there pretty cool little pose hood is up cool look Soak it in, baby. That's a badass motherfucker right there. Here we are as a little uh, pose of Jigsaw getting Billy ready for his uh, introduction. Introduce himself to a victim. Um, I'd like to, if I didn't already say that in, earlier in the review, I'd like to give a shout out to the body that Rayman used for this figure. I'm not sure what body it is, but it's very tight, man. The joints are tight, even if it's a bootleg, which I'm pretty sure it is because it came with uh, cheap hands and a stand. Uh, fantastic tight body, solid, worthy of a Rayman figure. Not a cheap, cheap body that's loose and you're gonna have to replace it. So that's a definite uh, big thing I'd like to mention. And this fucking pose looks really cool, man. If I had a jigsaw, this is probably the way I would display him in the cabinet with Billy just like that. Sick fucking shit, man. They just go together so well. All right, uh, maybe I'll get one more pose out of this and then we'll go into the final uh, thoughts and we'll be out. All right, last pose. So we got here, Billy sitting on Papa's lap telling him what he wants for Halloween. As you can see here, Jigsaw just creeping through the hood in the background. Billy's holding that as hand. And Jigsaw looking creepy as fuck. Saying, I know the sins you committed and you will be tested. The fly away. So that's it for the posing, nothing too crazy, nothing too uh, spectacular, unfortunately, because this figure is limited in that way. But uh, that'll be that, let me dress them both up accordingly and we'll get into the final thoughts of the piece. Soak it in, baby. 
Alright guys, so here we are. We're faced with uh, Rain Man, one of his best releases ever. The Jigsaw Killer. Definitely a odd choice. If anything, that's what fucked people up with picking up this figure. And I hope that they, uh, I don't know, maybe they're going to regret it now. I hope that they really made up their mind and they skipped on this for uh, the right reasons. Because you missed out on a fantastic fucking piece. Um... Beautiful, beautiful work. Rain Man, my hat's off to you. A definite step in the right direction. Uh, continuation of the horror catalog that Rain Man is building, of course. As you know, he's done a Dracula and the Exorcist. Um, Elephant Man, not really horror, but definitely in there. He's done The Shining. So, you know, these, these figures are all part of that vibe. And Rain Man is definitely on that vibe lately. He's on that shit, that horror tip. So... Kudos to him because uh, I love horror and he's definitely one of my favorite artists in the game and he's ripping it up. This is a fucking beautiful piece and uh, not enough uh, good things to say about it. I definitely want to give a shout out to my boy Chris that uh, looked out for me again. You're a fly brother, man. I appreciate you more than cook food right now, you know, for letting me do this. And uh, congratulations to you for owning this fantastic John Kramer figure with all the accoutrement that you're going to have. It's going to be perfect, so you won't be missing out on anything. And, uh, yeah, the movie Saw. Love this first, love the trilogy. Like, it worked as a trilogy, and then people just wanted more and more, and they didn't want to let it die. And I guess as long as you could fit shit in the script, you'll keep the shit going. So that's what they did. It, it went... Seven parts, actually, eight if you want to consider the new Jigsaw movie that came out, which is a sequel. So, yeah, it's eight parts. Um, and, uh, shit, if you want to sit down and watch them all, I, I tell you, go do it. It's definitely not nothing to rush into. You could probably go find a video on YouTube explaining the whole storyline in a short amount of time and saving you the headache of watching everything and trying to piece it all together yourself because, like I said before, it could get really messy. But a uh, great... A uh, series in the beginning and uh, a staple in horror. Jigsaw and Billy the Killer will always be in the top of the food chain now as far as uh, horror characters are considered. You always see them, well, you see Billy everywhere. Billy's face is everywhere. He's even on people's faces that I'd rather not mention. But um, yeah, he's, he's definitely everywhere. So definitely a character to stick around. And I'm rambling. Another shout out, uh, who'd I forget? I wanted to shout out my brother, Texas Kev. Texas Kev, who made the first custom Billy figure probably over 10 years ago, man, and I was after it, and he said it was a keeper for life, and then one day he wound up selling it, you know, down the line, and I missed out, and I was beating myself up over it for a while because I didn't know if we'd ever see one again. And, uh, you know, fast forward like five, 10 years later, and here we are, the perfect Billy made by the perfect artist, meant to be Rain Man, puppet on a ball joint, which is just the way it's meant to be. So i uh, soak this piece in one last time if I haven't drugged the camera over everything a million times already. Um, Jigsaw Killer Saw DX set by Rain Man, number 14 of 15. Only 15 out there, which of course, in education-wise means you only got 15 billies in the world, which match up with the uh, 15 Oompa Loompas, which is an excellent thing because those can't be replicated. And if they are, they'll never match the quality of the original handmade work by Rain Man. As you can see there, it's fucking flawless. So 15 Billies in the whole planet Earth, 15 Willy Wonka Oompa Loompas, and uh, yeah, maybe Jigsaw is the new Wonka of the new generation. Jigsaw would be the killer. And they're playing the original Saw theme music, the first fucking music that I uh, recognize in this whole video. Uh, meant to be, I guess. Soak it in one last time. The Jigsaw Killer, Rain Man. Mag's happy to be back with the 1-6 Fly review. And I hope to bring you another one real soon. Like I said, that Bill Allen, Crew Jones, Rad, BMX 1986 is coming. I tried to film it already, but it was a mess. Let's make another attempt at it, and uh, hopefully this time it'll be beautiful. I love you all. Thanks for the support. Much love and respect always from your boy Magnus. And respect the killer, or you might be tested. <laughs>